I'm Jeremy Greer. And I'm Gary Butterfield. And this is Days of Future Cast. Avengers versus X-Men. Gary versus Jeremy. Even though we've been kind of agreeing on everything for like 12 episodes now. Or I guess this is uh, eight. This is our 10th episode into this uh, crossover event. And we've pretty much just... It's coming, though. You think so? You like, you think the fundamental... Like, we're, you're going to be Team Cap and I'm going to be Team Cyclops or something? Like, you think there's going to be a fundamental divide <laughs> that really tears us apart? I, you know, the fact that Cyclops gets put in prison for killing Xavier at the end of this, <laughs> Maybe. I feel like we're probably both not going to be like super on team cast. Sure. Sure. <laughs> you know, not that we're like huge Xavier stands, but it just seems like the cards are stacked against him. Like knowing how this ends probably doesn't help. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, talking Avengers, talking Avengers number 25. Uh, so if you've been listening for the last couple of weeks, you know that the beginning of these crossover events uh, we're circling around to random tie-in series, which are basically finishing out the old arcs and uh, bringing us into this. Uh, this is another example of that, uh, where just we get barely any AVX material, but we get a lot of Avengers wrap up, um, and it's okay. I, I'm, it's okay. You know, when you pull this up in Marvel Unlimited, it's it describes it as the shocking final storyline in the Brian Bendis Avengers saga. And I didn't find anything about this shocking, Gary. I, I was just like, yeah, this is, this is all right. It, it felt it felt like an epilogue, right? Like it felt it's yeah. it's fine. It just didn't feel like a shocking final conclusion. Like I didn't find uh, out that Robbie Williams shock was dead the entire time or anything. So <laughs> or he came back in Avengers twenty five. Or that he had come back. Yeah, exactly. would, you, would it be a real like if he showed up instead of Nova to warn us about the Phoenix? Such a, w- a That'd weird be a real tie-in. twist. I can't believe they were co marketing <laughs> yeah. with what dreams may come. It's such a weird tie in. Avengers. <laughs> Avengers versus X Men versus Mork. Oh no! Um, the uh, the uh, this is really misleading too because the cover shows like Cyclops's blast coming off of uh, you know Cap Shield, but this is a flashback mm-hmm. uh, issue uh, written by Bendis. Uh, not his best work. You know, I like the plotting, but the character voices all sound the same. Um, drawn by Walt Simonson, who was like the legendary uh, artist behind uh, Thor. Mm-hmm. Like Thor's really you know big run. So kind of cool to see. He's very similar to, um, you know, or has some similarity to John Romita Jr. Yeah, I can go there. Uh, in his art, who is the the main uh, the main artist there. So interesting to see, though. I haven't read a lot of Walter Simons and stuff. Um, yeah. I, I keep wanting to and, read that that Thor arc. Like I keep wanting to go to it, um, and then it's just mm-hmm. a lot of Asgardian nonsense. And I'm like, oh man, I just I just it's, I, I, I have I a hard time with the Asgard stuff. Yeah, when I used to listen to Jay and Miles, uh, they, you know, Miles would talk about uh, the Walt Simons and Thor and how like it was just like an absolute blast from moment to moment. And then I read some of it and I was like, you know, maybe one of the reasons why I fell off that podcast is because they're too enthusiastic. Could be, you know, like they, they, mm-hmm. they're, they're just wrong. Like it's like, man, this is boring as shit, you know, and it's like I, I like enthusiasm. You know, but nonstop enthusiasm for mediocre things doesn't do it a good service, I don't think. Uh, and I tried reading the specifically the Frog Thor yeah. thing, and that's like Thor turns into a frog and gets involved in rat adventures and stuff, and it still manages to be boring as hell. Yep. I, I don't get it. That was exactly yeah. my opinion about that. Um, and that dude, like, yeah. and, and not to, like, drag those dudes. Those are, those are, those are great dudes. No, not, at all. Uh, not at all. But, like, yeah. that, they started a podcast on that Walt Simons and Thor. Like, that's how super enthusiastic it did miles was about it and i was like well i should try it like if he's that much into it and he's this much into the x-men yeah. like our or maybe our taste align it nope <laughs> apparently not and yeah one day one day i will pick that comic book up and it will be the perfect time for me to read it right like i'm i'm, I'm well prepared for that to happen so or you'll die first or i'll die there's actually a really good chance that day won't come um you're one or the other you know you don't get to see everything on your cha- on your trip on the earth you know that's true um the uh but yeah it was just a uh, boring to me uh, even though I would prefer the verily Thor to the Thor in this book, which just talks like anyone he's talking to, but with a fancier font. Yep. Um, so we start off with this little splash page of the Avengers and X-Men fighting, which is what I wanted to see. Uh, and as Cap is throwing a shield, he flashes back to throwing his shield at a training robot. Yes. Uh, back in the day. And he seems to be taking out a lot of aggression on these training robots. Iron Man shows up and is like, Hey, those aren't free. And he's like, Oh, I'm sorry. And he's like, don't worry about it. They're just, they're just robots. I make them all the time. And I'm like, why why did you even fucking say anything? Um, yeah. Yeah. 
also uh, this is why the avengers never helped the x-men is because they never hooked him up with shiar technology yeah. and their robot budgets through the fucking roof you need that hard light tony stark We're, like i feel like yeah. tony stark would see the danger room once and go oh i've been going about this entirely oh, the wrong way yeah. <laughs> i should have hard light oh, armor fuck. this is great <laughs> yeah th- this is the man you, they told you this is the man you worry about um the uh so this is this is right before the um the the event yes you know uh they're wearing the same uniform and everything he's uh blowing off steam uh hawkeye and spider woman show up uh chat for just a moment and then as soon as everyone turns their back on them immediately start making out and like a full-on embrace uh, make out situation man like in a, yeah. in, a, in a in a pda way that would make like if i saw this in person i'd be like are you really you guys okay just go after it i guess dude one of the things i don't miss about like pre-pandemic life is being at the bar and like every once in a while at the bar two people are going at it Mm -hmm. like to this degree just like the entire time and i'm like it is i'm very excited for what you guys are going to do but please just like go do it yeah you know like go go to a couch and make out or something like why are you doing this like on two bar stools (laughs) you're gonna fall over and i you know i don't want to see it nope like this is intense see a dude straight up like reach down uh, a girl's like back pant mm-hmm. you know like back the pant mm-hmm. and make the same motion with their hand as if you were wiping an ass and i'm like we're in a fucking bar yeah this is like this is unhygienic you don't need a, a finger a butthole like yeah th- dude like you're gonna touch things i'm gonna touch this sucks you're you, like, please go home and wash your hands and then finger bang or whatever like yeah you want. absolutely but don't do this here I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get a, a a bad tasting IPA at this Portland bar. Get out of here with that yeah. mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm trying to order a hot fucker supreme. Uh, <laughs> and you're acting it out right in front of me. I hate this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just, um, but uh, you know, Iron Man uh, is just like hey uh you know he's talking kind of like laying out to the other people like he's gonna be fine you know this is a thankless job Mm -hmm. like now that the avengers have full swung back into being legit we are peacekeepers for the world and that's that's tough stuff um this is where he finds out that uh clint and spider woman are hooking up um we cut over to captain america uh kind of like either watching tv or having bad memories of people yelling at him yeah i feel like this has to be uh, it, it's not it's not framed in like televisions or anything but i feel like this is definitely him like having either watched this or having listened to this on the radio or whatever because it's just a bunch of talking heads saying how bad the avengers are um and they all look like super yeah. villains like one of them definitely looks like norman osborne <laughs> or the, he well, says my name is, is like, that, norman that one's osborne identified. and then, yeah. that definitely looks like madam <laughs> yeah. hydra on the bottom left right like that has to be her yeah Mm. yeah i don't know who these people are one of the the boxes has a tv frame in it so this is like what you do when you go up to the roof and you remember tv shows you've seen yeah absolutely um <laughs> just like very funny to me like why they didn't just make him watching this who is the, the guy um, with the glowing eyes I, I don't know who that guy is uh he's talking about how the avengers need to be accountable but i have no idea who he is wild um, um he's pissed and this is where Thor shows back up uh, and Captain America says it's good to see him um, uh, because I guess he's been gone for a while. Uh, but he's like, you know, hey, uh, you don't really seem like yourself, uh, you know, because it, it, Captain America is like, yeah, it's been like a really rough go of it. And Thor is just very, very nice. He's like, look, check it out. Like you, you the whole city is alive because of you guys. Like this is your, this is yeah. your win. Like you got this. Yeah. Um, and of course, I, fucking the, the bad, the bad voice Thor here. like. This dialogue, I know there's a contradiction here, but, but hear, hear me, me out. out. Yeah. As much as a, yeah, <laughs> as much of a leader and a military man as you are, there's also a side of you that has a more rebellious streak, I believe is the term. That does not sound even remotely like Thor. No. Like, you know, like this, if I were Captain America, I would cut off his head and reveal a scrawl. Absolutely. And be like, oops, we did it again. You know, secret invasion two. They got Thor now. Like, it just, it drives me nuts. Like, I, I'm kind of a Bendis defender. Like, there's lots of Bendis comics I like. But when people criticize them, this is the kind of thing they criticize. And they're totally right. Like, this shit sucks. Yeah. Um, um, this, anywho, go ahead, interrupted you there. No, that's all right. I mean, this is just interrupted by uh, Novar, um, a.k.a. the Protector, who has been scanning the Earth for uh, AIM technology. Uh, because AIM is, I guess, responsible for stealing their powers or whatever and he's finally tracked it down um and given it to tony stark who used it to come down with a actual location um tony stark is really complimentary of the protector doing all of this i guess in this the protector is the new avenger and like because he's like kid you hit a home run and all that stuff um, yeah, yeah 
but it's it's time to go on the offensive against aim uh which is where we switch over to um yeah cutting to uh monica as seen in hulu's marvel's modok yeah i finished uh, the, that the show, comic book version of her um, yeah 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 uh, I feel what like you think? I, just for the listeners, we, you and I have talked about it. Yeah. I, I feel like that show is like pr- probably like 40% great jokes, um, like are good to great jokes. And then the last two episodes have wonder man and get really, really fucking funny after that. Um, and, 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 and but like getting to that point was, I, I think the signal to noise ratio was just a little bit off for me, which I feel like is always the case in like, those robot chicken shows like i've never really gotten yeah. into them um and this like the thing that pulled me through was obviously like the marvel stuff mr sinister showing up and like all of the cool cameos and the beer commercial with wolverine claws and stuff like that like that was there was some really like minor stuff that got me um and then like you know i, I think i told you this via text like i was i felt really weird because i just I was rooting for Modok so hard. <laughs> like I just wanted Modok yeah. to win, <laughs> which is not the show at all. <laughs> I think they're setting it up for a second season, yeah. you know, which is whenever they do that before a show comes out, it's a little optimistic, mm-hmm. you know, I think it's like a solid BB plus, you know, it's not, it's not incredible yeah. or anything like that, but I consistently thought it was funny. Um, like the, it, the performances are fun. You know, I like the, uh, when they go to the supervillain bar, like, like all the stuff with Modok teaming up with like the shitty supervillains. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, all that stuff is good to me. Angar the Screamer is always funny to me. Um, yeah. So I, I think it's a, it's a pretty fun comic. And then yeah. like Wonder Man is the, the standout arc in it. Uh, that stuff is, is legitimate, uh, legitimately laugh out loud funny. Yeah, absolutely. And Ben so, Schwartz, uh, yeah. plays like Modok's kid, like just to the fucking hilt, like the, the, yeah, the yeah. episode where they, love, where they go the to Asgard <laughs> and is just very funny it's, to me. Yeah. The Asgard one's great. Like that's very funny. Mm-hmm. It's super good. Like it's, it's a fun, like, uh, goofy shit in the Marvel universe tv show which is interesting to hear it you know after talking about the wolverine and the x-men which is also goofy and it makes me wonder if i would like a wolverine and the x-men comedy show you know that went full into it as opposed to trying to do both oh you know, yeah i don't know oh. um but this is this is that character from that so i i didn't realize she was a comics character uh before this um she's the lady who took over aim after modok and she's giving a presentation to uh, everyone in AIM using our green screen, like presenting to AIM International mm-hmm. uh, here, talking about like, you know, AIM is basically, you know, it's not science, it's a religion. You know, the governments fear us that, you know, if, if science was in control, they, they know we're the future, we, they want us to take over. We will succeed or fail no matter how many of you I need to kill to make this happen. Yes. You know, um, super villain shit way different than the character in the comic absolutely. or in the uh, tv show yeah absolutely uh and this is when they sense like an energy signal approaching and it's the avengers including storm who is just mm-hmm. holding her fingers together to make some lightning which i find very amusing for some reason because I, I like that also like because what else would you do like if i had like the lightning at my fingertips i constantly like with my finger i would flip the bird there you go. Yeah, give him the light, the old yeah. lightning finger. That's what I like to call it. Yeah, g- 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 give him the old Zapdos is what I like to call that. The old bird um, bolt. <laughs> yeah, Th- there should totally be a character who like uses their powers by flipping off, and like energy comes out of it. Hire me. Um, this is we're gonna see. Uh, you know, so uh, Captain America says, "Hey, Thor and Storm." Uh, get them and the avengers jump out of the jet and one of the unfortunate things about this whole crossover is we're going to deal with red hulk shit eating grin a lot yeah uh, i really don't like the red hulk i also um it's because we've we've we've, we've seen the avengers assemble thing a couple of times now and like I, I feel like it's pretty regular that comes up in the comics um and i didn't read a lot of avengers comics i didn't really care about the avengers that much as a kid like i was way more into the x-men so like a lot of my exposure to the avengers stuff like the reason i'm into it is actually the mcu right like that those movies actually Mm -hmm. made me like those characters more um and i don't know why but it really bugs me when they're doing the avengers assemble when they're specifically not doing that like they're they're all spreading out to attack like they're not like avengers fight (laughs) avengers go but like avengers assemble should have assembled when we got in the jet (laughs) <laughs> exactly <laughs> you can do that at the tower like you're not doing it right now yeah avengers does anyone need to use the bathroom <laughs> like that yeah <laughs> it's like a, they, they they should be doing it's also a thing where the the the, the tv show the movie has trained us to think this is a cool big moment mm-hmm. you know because they hold it back it happens all the time in the comics I know. So. yeah uh, yeah they, yeah it doesn't spend the same avengers who's got the uber um, tab <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um 
Avengers, let's walk a block to the West where we might not be getting surge pricing. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Um, uh, but this is a big fight versus a bunch of, na- you know, nameless aim guys. And they wipe the floor with them. Mm-hmm. This is the win that cap wanted. Yeah. You know, um, and it, it's, it's not a great fight or anything. This isn't super fun, uh, to me or anything like just fighting a bunch of robots and, and guys in aim suits mm-hmm. doesn't do tons, you know, uh, and not a lot happens. Yeah. The Red Hulk it. claps and, and blows yeah. up some robots. Um, Storm gets zapped or gets shot in the back and just falls and Thor has to catch her. And I'm like, this is really all you could do with this Storm? This is it? <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's why she's not in the uh, Avengers when, you know, in the, in the future. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Uh, um, while that fight is happening on the outside, on the inside, Monica um, is... Her name is Monica, right? Is that that is right, Monica? Yeah. Um, she's Monica Rapp- Rappaccini. She is um, attempting to destroy all of the data they have because uh, she doesn't want the Avengers to be able to recover it. And of course, out of nowhere comes Captain America's shield and knocks her in the head. Yep. Uh, captures uh, her. You know, she tries to do a villain speech. You know, saying like, "Hey, you won the day, but it's only a matter of time." Uh, and everyone's like, "Okay." You know, let us know when that happens. You know, they're, they're, they're feeling real good. Uh, and they, they fly home, you know, and they're just, they're, they're high on the hog. Like this is the win Captain America wanted. Um, Thor is like, see, good job. You know, uh, there's some banter between protector and Iron Man where Iron Man's like, I need to get that technology. And he's like, I keep telling you I'm from the future for an advanced civilization. You have to earn that. And he's like, I'll buy it. Uh, which I think is a cute little Tony Stark uh move um and then the tie-in thing is uh novar popping into the uh the comms room and the Cree supreme intelligence which has always been one of the funniest designs yes like that never got updated mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's always what if a fat four-eyed guy um pops up to say like hey the phoenix is coming earth is our protection protectorate do anything to eliminate the people harboring the phoenix that dude's superpower is just oh. having jowls. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> He's the jolliest, man. It's like mojo without the body and sense of humor. Mm-hmm. The human mojo. No good. Yeah. Uh, um, that's this, it. This is it. And yeah. I think I think we did ourselves a disservice. Um, I mean, this was included in the like official Marvel list. It was included in the reading list that we're going by. It does kind of tie in a little bit because of this last page. Um, but we're not getting mm-hmm. any of the context for this stuff. We haven't like all of the stuff that Captain America is worried about and has been going through leading up to this, you know, shocking conclusion where they, you know, just take out a ba- an aim base essentially. Does it is all kind of lost on us because we have not read any of the stuff that leads up to this. But also like this team seems boring like red hulk what like i don't know yeah and, and red like, hulk, spider spider woman i'm not super into like honestly um like i haven't read a lot of comics with her where she's really great um i like the the big three um i have a lot of affection for novar because of the marvel boy series even though he seems like a very different character mm-hmm. uh than, than he is um what makes me you know excited about the um yeah, I think this is like wrapping up for this team. And then in the actual crossover, it's like every Avenger, you know, ever basically, you know, the, the, the crew we saw on the, uh, the ship and that I'm more, I have more time for, you know, yeah. more interesting characters to me. Absolutely. Um, um so yeah, yeah. Th- th- this is it. This was, this was okay. I guess, um, in the grand scheme of things, I, um, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy to get back to Avengers versus X-Men, like the main stuff. Cause I want to see, I want to see these big fights. I want to see where all the stuff is going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, which, uh, which I, me too, yeah. you know, um, and there's going to be some more of these like kind of tenuous crossovers, I'm sure. And, you know, at the end of the day, like who gives a shit? We're reading a comic. It's yeah. not a big ask. Uh, you know, uh, we appreciate everybody listening. We hope you're enjoying. Mm-hmm. Uh, this and uh, if you want to support us you can go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv or leave us a rating review on apple podcast or podcast addict or wherever reviews are found and you can tell your friends definitely tell your friends uh we love doing this uh we'd love for more people to to hang out and with us while we do it so tell your friends get them into adventures versus x-men or uh go to days of com slash or just go find the episode guide link at daysoffuturecast.com and uh, pick your favorite arc. We've got a bunch of different comics, movies, TV shows. You can find an episode real easy to what you might want to just kind of dip your toe into. It's real easy to do that. Yeah. So go check all of that out. Um, we'll be back in a couple of days with New Avengers number 24.